Welcome to Two Minutes with Mike, where I try to blow your noodle in the time it takes to make my noodles. The Old Testament is full of stories of people, things and events that were recorded in order to teach us things today. One of these is the description of the tabernacle. And there's a reason that Moses was told by God to build it exactly according to the pattern that God gave him. You can read about that in Exodus chapter 25 verse 40. And every little detail was designed by God to illustrate something important. Did you know, for example, that the lampstand is a mind-blowing, noodle-blowing picture for us? Let me unpack it. In the holy place, the only illumination came from the lampstand. The priests could only operate if it was in place and it was working as it should. As we read the descriptions in Exodus 25 and Exodus 37, we see that it was to be made from a single piece of gold and that it should be decorated with cups and buds and blossoms. If we count those decorations, the sum total is 39 on the first half and the central stem and then 27 on the remaining branches. So that's 39 plus 27, giving us a total of 66. Numbers that many of us recognize as the number of books in the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Bible as a whole. Here's a picture of scripture, 66 books, but all part of one whole with one source, God himself. That imagery is perpetuated, for example, where the psalmist says, your word is a lamp to my feet. Now, not only did the lamp have to be there, but the wicks had to be trimmed regularly and it had to be constantly refilled with oil for the lamp to give light. And oil, of course, is symbolic of the Holy Spirit. And just as the Word of God needs the Holy Spirit to illuminate it, so would the lamp. And so we see God has given us a powerful, mind-blowing picture of the importance of His Word and His Spirit in our lives, working together to illuminate the darkness and help us to minister as priests of God. So let's make sure that we are people of word and spirit. Time's up. See you soon.